Good morning guys and welcome to another note. If you are new to this channel, I'm Ray Sung Lau and I'm an incoming music student at Eastman School of Music, New York. So today we will be talking about five important things that you need to know before you enter a school of music. Now you're here watching maybe because you're a student who wants to enter a school of music or you're planning to have that bachelor's degree in music. So these are five things that you really need to know before you enter a school of music. So if you want to know more about them, just keep on watching. All right, let's start. So number one, note reading is a must. Note reading is a basic skill that you should have before you enter a school of music. I always get comments and questions asking whether or not should they know how to read notes. So my answer would be it's going to be really helpful if you know how to read notes before you enter a school of music. Why? Because once you're in the school of music, you will encounter many subjects that would require you of this skill. An example would be in solfege. So solfege, what is solfege? Solfege is reading or singing notes on a steady beat. This is one of the major subjects that you would encounter in the school of music. What else? Dictation. So dictation is reading notes rhythmically. It still requires note reading. Music theory. It's one of the major subjects that's really important once you're in the school of music and that requires the skill of note reading music history music history note reading is helpful in such a way that knowing the different characteristics of music of different periods or eras and this knowledge you can apply to when you practice your piece and that requires note reading as well and lastly is piano or keyboard playing and it's pretty obvious that you really have to know how to read notes so yeah that's number one Note reading is a must because it's everywhere in the School of Music. Number two, someone is better than you. I will repeat that. Someone is better than you. So now whether it be in performance or in studying in general, someone is better than you doesn't mean that you just have to sit at the corner and think about it all the time because you have to do something about it because whether you like it or not, someone is better than you. Someone is better than me but that's okay. So now you can take it like this. You can take it negatively or positively being competitive is okay as long as it's a friendly competition aside from a friendly competition you can actually view others as an inspiration so take them as an inspiration for you to be better than you used to be so that one day you can be as good as them number three practice is life practicing shouldn't just be part of your to-do list it should be attached to you it should be part of your lifestyle as a musician since it's a skill based or a performance based profession you always have to improve you always have to hone your craft so what better way to develop your skill than practicing one more thing we cannot stay stagnant as a musician we always have to improve ourselves we always have to find space for improvement because there's always a room for improvement anyway even the professional musicians out there even those who are really good at it they still practice every day because for them there's always there's always something to improve on so once you are in the school of music you would view suspension of classes summer breaks break time vacants on a different way what do i mean for others break time vacant time summer breaks or suspension of classes is something something that you should be happy about because you have you have more sleeping time maybe or you can go to the mall you can socialize your friends or just have fun or just stay home doing nothing but for us in the school of music we view break time we view vacant time we view summer breaks and suspension of classes as more time to practice more time to really prepare for say a performance number four music industry is a small industry we have a small community we always see familiar faces we always perform we always work we always play music with the same people 
So having connections in the music industry is something that's really natural that leads us to the number one no-no in the music industry, which is burning bridges. So since it's a small community, you shouldn't burn bridges, but instead, you should always build bridges. Because anyway, that's one of the missions of music, to bridge people together. Lastly, number five, good relationship with your teacher. Now this applies to those who play instruments and or sing. You will always have one-on-one -on -one or individual lessons with a particular teacher. And building a good relationship with that teacher is a must. For me, it's not just having lessons. It could also mean mentorship. Because sometimes, or most of the time, your teacher doesn't just teach you techniques on how to play or on how to sing or on how to make a beautiful sound. They sometimes also teach you life lessons or guide your way to the music industry. So building a good relationship with your teacher will really help you a lot improve or develop your skills in music and any way in the future you will still work with your teacher because most probably you will be colleagues in the future so just to cap off everything these are five important things you should know before you enter a music school number one note reading is a must number two someone is better than you if someone's better than you you have to practice to improve yourself so number three practice is life number four music industry is a small industry and number five build a good relationship with your teacher so there you have it if you want to see more music content just go and check out my youtube channel and don't forget to like share subscribe and click the bell button to get updates on my upcoming vlogs to more notes guys see you soon bye